This section will cover multimedia and popular applications in Ubuntu Desktop. We'll begin by talking about DVD playback. Playing back a DVD in Ubuntu Desktop is rather simple, however there are some legal concerns. Yeah, we don't think about that much with Microsoft Windows, with Mac OS X, or with our home DVD player, but the reality is that there are ways to play encrypted DVDs, and most DVDs are encrypted. There are ways to play those encrypted DVDs in Ubuntu Desktop, which are not legal in all regions, in all countries of the world. The United States is one such country. It is illegal, technically, to decrypt DVDs, even if you own those DVDs, even if you haven't stolen anything per se, the very act of circumventing that encryption, that digital protection, is considered strictly illegal in the United States. Now, the question of whether or not you would be prosecuted is not something we're going to cover in this course. And because I live in the United States and I don't want to encourage you to violate the law, I'm not going to be showing you how in other countries it would be completely legal for you to play a DVD using a free decryption service. Instead, I'm going to be showing you in the Ubuntu Software Center a program that is not free but I think is really worth your money. It's a program that I've purchased, and I really enjoy, called Fluendo. Fluendo is a DVD player which is fully licensed. This means that you're not doing anything illegal, if it happens to be illegal in your country, when decrypting DVDs and playing them back in Ubuntu Desktop. Now the price tag is a little steep at $24.95, but again, this is a really good program, and so I recommend that you check it out. Let's go ahead and take a look at Fluendo now. We can see how easy it is to play a DVD in Ubuntu Desktop using this player. Fluendo DVD player is here in my Applications tab. I've recently searched for it. If we didn't have it there, I could simply type in DVD or, of course, Fluendo in order to bring it up. And I can click, hold, and drag it to the launcher, as I've done with several other items. Now we can launch Fluendo from the launcher and in order to open up our DVD, we'll click on DVD player, open folder, and then click on our optical disk over here on the left under places. Hit open and our DVD will launch. A final note about DVDs before I leave you and we close out this module. It's important that you understand that in a virtual box environment, DVDs usually aren't going to play. Uh, some of them will start to play and then they won't finish. In fact, that's what happened with this Star Wars DVD that I started to play. It started to play and then it gave off an error. Well, that seems to be due to VirtualBox and the way that it utilizes a virtual optical disk. So the optical drive is not physically connected to the Ubuntu operating system. You should not have problems with Fluendo and a physical installation, but I wanted to give you this heads up and let you know if you're only purchasing Fluendo to use it in a VirtualBox environment, don't. It won't work for you, but it does work fine on physical installations, and so that should be fine if that's how you're trying to use it. But within VirtualBox, just know that Fluendo's not going to play some DVDs at all. Other DVDs, it'll play part of that DVD, maybe the menu, maybe the warning like you saw, the FBI warning that came up on this particular DVD. Uh, so just be aware of that and uh, know that you're not going to be able to use Fluendo properly in a virtual box environment. That's not a bug or a problem per se. It's simply the nature of the beast when you're working in a virtual environment and you don't have those, those hardware components uh, physically connected to the operating system.